After 35 years of service at Syngenta, Mary Dell Chilton is hanging up her lab coat. While Dr. Chilton's retirement marks the end of an era, her rich legacy will continue to live on through Syngenta Seed's R&D pipeline. As an innovator in modern plant biotechnology, she is internationally recognized for her contributions to agriculture. Early in her career, it was Dr. Chilton's curiosity that led her and a team of university researchers to produce the first transgenic plant, which laid the groundwork for modern plant biotechnology. I'm uh, consumed by curiosity about the world around me. I'm consumed by uh, DNA. Someone one time said to me that you uh, are fascinated by anything that DNA does, and I had to say guilty as charged. She began her industry career with Syngenta in 1983, when it was Siba Geigy Corporation, where she founded the first biotechnology research lab for a Syngenta legacy company. Her research at Syngenta has paved the way for the development of biotech crops that improve a plant's ability to resist pest damage and help farmers better manage their crops. While Dr. Chilton prefers the lab to the stage, countless organizations have recognized her contributions to biotechnology. In 2013, Dr. Chilton was awarded the World Food Prize, which recognizes distinguished individuals who have advanced human development by improving the quality, quantity, or availability of food globally. Dr. Chilton is the first to acknowledge the collaborators who have worked alongside her. Teamwork and collaboration have really been at the heart of any success that I may have had over the years. Um, the work is very interdisciplinary, and I've, uh, I've really enjoyed and loved the people that I've worked with over the years. Dr. Chilton may be best known for her groundbreaking research, but teaching and mentoring were equally important to her. Over the years, Dr. Chilton and her late husband, Scott, welcomed dozens of graduate students to live in their home, earning it the nickname, the Chilton Hilton. I think probably the proudest is the, uh, is the kids that have worked with me. They've come in unsure of themselves and they've gone out uh, top of the line scientists. So I'm, I'm proud to have had a hand in their training. Dr. Chilton's contributions to agriculture are integral to feeding a growing population with finite land and natural resources, underscoring the premise of growing more with less and making crops more efficient. The population is projected to increase from 7 billion people globally to 9 billion by mid-century. That's not very far ahead, 35 years. I calculated that that means we will have 150,000 more people each day than the day before. 150,000 people more to feed each day. But it is my heartfelt hope that we will see acceptance of this technology in my lifetime. I'm getting old. We better get busy.